In the ring today, we have Build.com and Melio, and we're going to be talking about which would be the best tool for your organization to use. Now, both are bill pay slash AP platforms, but we're going to dive into a little bit deeper to really discover what that even really means. Now, bill pay can be a very muddied function, right? But it is an important function. It's an important area of the entire fiscal management accounting function. And so we got to deal with it, right? Because you got to pay them people, right? So let's talk about which one will be best for your organization. Now I wanna start by saying, I am actually a fan of both tools, but the clients that I use them with actually use them for different reasons. We actually also use it internally in our firm. And as I get into some of the more details, I'm going to actually talk about which clients prefer to use Build.com and why, and which clients prefer to use Melio and why. And of course we do influence that decision as accountants, but it is important to understand the needs of your organization, what exactly it is that you're trying to accomplish, because that will ultimately determine which tool is going to be best for you. So first we're gonna kind of dive into design slash how we use it, right? So when you first log into build.com, I'm not gonna lie, it does have a more professional feel, so to speak, right? It does feel more professional. Sorry, Melio, love you, but you know, it is what it is, right? I love you too, but just for different reasons. <laughs> but when you get into build.com, it does have a more professional feel and you can kind of tell right off of the bat that it is more robust, right? And so that is just one thing right there that kind of set it off for me too, depending on the client. Now I will say, because it does have that more professional feel, there is a lot more going on. So there is some moving around and clicking on things and truly learning that you have to do. And I will say like, even with us using build.com here with some of our clients, we did do a lot of research about using the tool. We did a demo, but then we also, when we onboarding, you have, when we onboarded, we had the option to actually meet with um, an internal rep or, you know, sales rep or something like that. And he like walked us through everything because it didn't feel easy, if that makes sense. Now, when you look at Melio, on the other hand, when you log in right off the bat, it has a very simplistic and like easy feel to it, but it does give basic. Um, and so you don't need to do too much clicking around because there isn't much that you can do, right? And so depending on what you're using the tool for again, that will kind of let you know, like, are you looking for simplistic, ease of use? You know, you ain't paying a lot of people. And again, I'll get a little bit more into those details, but um, just right off the bat, when you kind of log in, this is the feel that you get. And so with build.com, while more robust, there is a bit more of a learning curve, in my opinion, with Melio, you can kind of like log in and get straight to using it. Now with bill.com, there's a lot of depth to the platform, right? Deep automations, um, multiple integrations. So not only with QuickBooks Online, but QuickBooks Desktop, other accounting software and expense management tools. And it's important to highlight that because if you are a nonprofit that does a lot of spending, you know, if you have a more robust AP function and you also use an expense management tool, it might be important to make sure that your AP platform also integrates with your expense management tool. Now, Melio, on the other hand, does integrate with QuickBooks Online, um, but that's where, you know, the buck stops. And for some, that might be enough, right? And so it's not necessarily a con on their end, but that is kind of the gist of their integrations. One of my other favorite things about bill.com is that you can get a dedicated email where vendors can send your bills or you can you know, email your bills to that email. It'll automatically be into the system where you can then choose, of course, that next step. With Melio, you don't get a dedicated email, but you can upload um, or manually uh, import uh, a bill. And so it is, you know, it doesn't require too much clicking around. For some reason, I do find with bill.com, it feels um, a bit easier in that way, especially if you're an organization that has like a lot of bills, a lot of vendors. Um, with Melio, typically we see like if it's kind of just contractors, you know, independent contractors that you're paying, really simple. You can upload the invoice and you can choose which account actually in your chart of accounts um, it goes to, you know, not too bad, not too shabby. And the last thing I'll say about the whole design and how to use the tool 
is uh, the ability to have multiple users to designate their roles. Now in Melio, it really is simple. Um, so we as accountants, we get can get access to your Melio account um, and we can set an approver role, right? So that means that we can get in there, enter the bills, make sure everything is on an up and up and then submit it to the approver who let's say in this case might be like the operations manager or the executive director. They can then actually go in, take a look at it. If everything looks good, they can actually have the final say of yes, this bill gets paid. Bill.com does the same thing, but it is a bit more robust, right? You can have a lot of different roles. Um, there's a lot of different automation that can be set up within those roles. And so again, if you have an accounting team, if you have multiple people that have a hand in that accounting um, accounts payable process, something like Bill.com would actually be better. Now, you know, I know you might be thinking, okay, you said all of that, but what about the price? Now here's where, you know, things get a little bit more sticky. Melio is free. For the most part, Melio is free. I love that about the tool, especially for organizations that are a bit smaller and you're just looking to maybe pay a few contractors, pay a few vendors. You don't need a tool that is going to charge you, right? And so Melio is free. It does charge for expedited payments, for payments where you are using a credit or debit card or expedited checks. But if you are paying like your, through your bank account, ACH, and you're okay with it taking three days, it's free and it works. And that is something that I really do like about the platform. Bill.com is a subscription-based tool. And so there is a fee. It's actually rather expensive. And so it is not something that I recommend to a lot of clients or all clients, it really depends on how robust your AP function is. And so with Bill.com, there is a $39 subscription, a $59 and then a $69 subscription. Of course, it always depends, right? That's essential team and corporate, depending on how many people actually have to have their hands on in the process will determine, of course, the level that you want to um, subscribe to. But it ain't free, okay? And it can get pricey. You know, now you might be thinking, okay, you said all of that, but which do we actually use? Well, I hope it actually has been clear that if you are a smaller organization, you're looking for something that's um, affordable, cost efficient, if you're just paying a couple of vendors or contracts, contractors here and there, then Melio is going to be the perfect tool for you, especially if you're using QuickBooks Online, which I hope that you are, because it integrates with QuickBooks Online and it's free. You can set your vendors up, you can pay them automatically. What I do love about it is that you can put in their information, they get the email on their end to go ahead and set up their payment details, and then from there forth on, unless there's a change, you can just continue paying them with ease. Now, if you are a bigger organization, you have a robust accounts payable function, there are multiple roles within that accounts payable function, then you might wanna think about bill.com, right? Because it really does support larger organizations. And so I wanted to kind of um, help you with giving you some ideas about how our clients use them. So the clients that use Melio are much smaller organizations and they typically are just paying like contractors, or maybe a couple of vendors. And when I say a couple, I literally mean like a handful. My clients that use bill.com have a more robust accounts payable function. So typically they actually usually have a facility, meaning that they are not just virtual. And so they are paying things like utilities, like rent, right? Um, a lot more hardcore bills, not just paying people, vendors, uh, independent contractors, right? And so it works. It also works for those clients. Bill.com also works for those clients who need multiple levels of like review and approvals, right? And so it helps to make the process more streamlined and efficient. And so typically when we're determining which tool is going to be best for clients that come on, we usually dive deep into who are you actually paying, right? What are the operations behind AP? Because that helps us to know like, do you really need something that's super robust or you're just paying a couple of contractors? Let's go ahead and use Melio, right? And so um, hope that this video was helpful. Hope that it shed some light on the two tools. Again, I love both. 
I just use them for different things, right? And so um, depending on what you need will help you to determine which tool you should be using. And so that is it for this video. That's it for this round. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And if not, subscribe so you can, you know, be notified and all that good stuff about when the next video comes out. See you soon.